Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my speed build for Clements Hall. So a few days ago, I uploaded part one and in that video, I just built the exterior of the dormitory and today I'm going to be working on the landscaping. So right now I'm just kind of like working on the front part, just trying to like make a pathway and do all the extra stuff. The landscaping honestly took me so long. I honestly had to like refilm parts, redo parts because it just wasn't working for me. It wasn't working for me. So right now I'm adding in a fountain. As you guys can see behind, behind the fountain, I have a basement and I didn't show me putting that in in the last part just because I did it off camera Um, because I had to do like some extra stuff to put it in because I built the dorm on a foundation, which I didn't really think about. But like I said in the last part, I was building this off of a picture that I saw and that's why it's on foundation. And it's really on foundation for these planter boxes that I'm adding the plants into right now. So I talked about these so much in the last part because I was like, if these turn out ugly, I'm gonna be mad. But they actually turned out really good and I feel like they just bring everything together. And um, I do just fix up a lot of different things and I just think it adds so much to the dorm and everything just comes together and it flows well and it just looks so much better and I'm actually really happy with it. I've finished absolutely everything. I've done the inside. I've done the just everything. Everything you can think of I have done. Um, now watch someone finds a flaw which I'm sure you will but yeah I've done absolutely everything and I'm really proud of how it turned out to be completely honest because I i've honestly never finished a dorm i've started them but never finished and this is the first dorm that i finished so shout out to me um right now i'm just adding in some more plants i wanted to put them behind like one of those small fences because i find that at a lot of like commercial and community lots um even in like real life the um like landscaping is like really clean and um nice so that's kind of how i want it to be um uh, for this like if you look at an apartment i feel like it's pretty clean and pristine and they just have it like um like behind fences i don't know is that true i feel like that's how i see them um so yeah that's just what i wanted to do right here i'm also adding in like this little um wall thing i don't really know what to call this but i'm just adding this in and this is gonna contain the activity board and the trash can i just thought it'd look better if it was like kind of enclosed and had its own space and just wasn't like out in the open so that's what i'm deciding to do here and um yeah so like i said i did actually have to like re film parts so if things kind of look choppy not necessarily choppy but like don't flow completely well that's because i probably like redid that part so whenever i go to like build the exterior entertainment i delete everything and i refresh both outdoor like i build like these pergola things i don't know you guys will see them but i end up refurnishing both of them because one me filming them it just didn't look that good um the second part like when i was building the second okay i'm moving on because i don't i can't explain it i don't know what i'm talking about so whenever i start to build them then i will explain um, so yeah, here I am just throwing in the trash can and the activity board, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add a fence to the whole, not the whole, I'm just going to start adding a fence um, to the dorm. And yeah, like I said, I'm actually pretty proud of how things turned out. So here I am adding the first one or attempting to add the first one. I do end up getting rid of this because I don't like the way it looks. I was struggling so hard with getting one of these into the yard. Um... And Steph Storm, she had one as well, but uh, hers, her builds are just amazing. Like, I don't know. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she's so creative, but everything about her builds just mesmerize me. And mine are just ass, but it's okay. Like, it, it really is okay. So yeah, um, again, like I said, this doesn't stay. It's really uneven, and I'm pretty sure I was like, okay, why is this so uneven? Um, and I see why, but I see why now. Um, so yeah, there, I just got rid of it, and I'm on to another one and i do keep this one and this one ends up being like um just a little place for them to like go study outside and just get some peace and quiet i'm not really much of an outdoors person but i feel like people like to sit outside when they're on campus and just like study so i figured that i'd add a spot for them to do that at their dorm um or on their dorm at their dorm i don't know so they don't have to leave the dorm to do that <laughs> and here i am just adding more platforms because as we know i'm obsessed with these i think they just add so much and um yeah just adding to the roof to give myself some more detail um 
and yeah i don't know i just used so much cfe in this build and i think that's like why it took me so long like this build took me forever i don't think anything's actually taking me this long obviously i haven't like worked on this like consistently for like two weeks straight because i haven't been doing this for exactly two weeks but almost two weeks i've been working on this build and like i said i haven't worked on this for two consecutive weeks but i've worked on this quite a bit um but i also did have to work in between so i couldn't just play sim all day which i wish that's like a perfect world for me um but yes, yeah, so like I said, this one is just for them to just work on some skills and like that sort of thing. And this is one of the ones that I actually had to redo completely because it was just ugly. Like I was just thinking about them and I was like, OK, these turned out so bad. I feel like I didn't spend as much time with them as I possibly could. And with this one, I actually was having issues with fraps. Um, that's what I used to record my screen. And my computer was saying that like my drive was full. So whenever I would press record, like it would either cut out or it would like record like a second of it and then stop recording or just wouldn't record at all and i was like okay so it was like really choppy and you guys barely saw any of it which i was kind of okay with because the furnishing was so bad but then i also didn't like some of the other furnishing that i did so i was like you know what i'm just gonna redo it all and that's what i decided to do and i'm really happy that i decided to do that and yeah um i hope this commentary isn't bad i'm like struggling today i don't know why because i think because i actually had already made this commentary but then i deleted it because i deleted this whole video um because i like added new parts in so i just got rid of the whole video because i had to make new commentary to go with the new video yeah okay here i am just adding in a pathway i ended up deleting it because i didn't like that i think it was just too harsh having like the whole cement thing everywhere and that terrain paint is actually from university life but yeah so i'm just adding in some trees and landscaping's a pain in the butt like i don't know i struggle so much with it like i feel like it's just because i'm not like a good builder and that's just why i struggle who knows um yeah and i'm gonna add like plants around the fence here they go um i thought they looked really good inside of um like little thin fences like i said i don't know i just think it made it look really neat and um really kept up up kept up yeah I, I I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know what I'm trying to say at the same time. Um, so yeah, and then I'm just going to add in some colorful plants. I think I... No, I... Okay, I was going to say, do I only add white? No, I don't only add white. I do add some color. And yeah, so I want to go ahead and say that I did not limit myself at all to this build, like, whatsoever. I don't know if anyone's going to actually want to, like, download this, but if you guys do, I didn't limit myself. I added store content, stuff pack content, base game content, expansion pack content... I added all types of content except for custom content because I actually don't have like custom content furniture in my game. But yeah, and like in between this build, I like went and purchased like all the store content that I didn't own and like that I wanted. So um yeah, I don't think I used I don't know, I feel like I used more strong more star more <laughs> holy crap. I feel like I used more store content when it came to like minor details, so you won't be missing out on too much. And yeah, and here we go. We cut straight to, um, what is this? We cut straight to like the little outdoor entertainment area. I feel like that's the only thing I know how to call it. Like, I don't really consider it like a pergola, pergolo, whatever. Um, so I'm just calling it outdoor entertainment. And this is one of the things that I also redid. It was just so ugly the first time that I furnished it. And I didn't even keep in the or original furnishing. Like, I didn't keep that clip in because there was just like no point. It was just so ugly. It looked rushed, even though I didn't rush it. Like, I, it took me so long. So, like, the fact that it took me so long and it still turned out like ass, like, that just says something about my lack of skill when it comes to building um yeah i i honestly don't remember what i put in this like i just took so long of a break in between like building and furnishing and recording and filming and all that good stuff that like i don't remember what i put in here i know at the bottom there's just like seating um for them to like eat their food or whatever and then um i on the top i don't even know what's oh i think i put like a dj booth in yeah, I want to say so they can, like, maybe hire a DJ. I don't think you can even do... Can you do that? I think you can do that. Actually, I don't know if you can do it at university, but I feel like you can do it, like, at your home lot. So, yeah, I think I put, like, a DJ booth so they can just get, like, some extra entertainment. And, um, yeah. So, I'm just adding in some more landscaping and doing all that good stuff. I don't even know what to talk about in this um, video yeah i also considered doing the interior and the um landscaping in like a time lapse form just because it took me so long to do all of this like to do both like in the 
interior you guys will see i filmed it like really weird like i did some parts where i would like show me placing the furniture but i didn't show me like recoloring it and then i did some parts where i would place it off camera but then like recolor it on like while recording so i actually haven't edited that part yet but once i edit that i will see if i actually like it because if not i'm gonna have to just do it in time lapse form i just wanted to record it just in case i didn't feel like doing time lapse because those take forever and i have to like plan out everything how i want the camera to rotate and it's just so much effort and i was like i'm not in the mood to do that so that's why i just wanted to record stuff just in case but if i put in all the interior and i'm just like oh like this just isn't flowing good for me then i guess i'll just have to do the time lapse form so it all flows good and it's nice and smooth and yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah right here i'm adding in a roof this is the first roof that i've actually like put into this build because most of it was just like a flat roof and you already know i gotta add some more platforms in and i just put some more small fencing around the um little outdoor entertainment um to put in some plants yeah don't even know I really don't know. I don't know what people talk about in these. Like, I'm trying to think about what people talk about, but I'm not really good at, like, describing what I'm doing because I'm not, like, the most, like, architectural savvy person. Like, I can't, like, describe what I'm doing or I can't describe, like, what's it called? Um, like, styles of builds. You know how there's, like, contemporary, modern, traditional, like, eclectic, and, like, I honestly can't, like, when people say, like, gothic modern i'm like what the hell is that like i don't know um yeah i don't even know what this is considered like what the style of this dorm is i don't want to say modern because it doesn't have like huge glass windows but um okay i really hope this audio is recording because it kind of doesn't sound like it but i hope it is because if not i honestly want to be that sad because it's like tragic this is so bad but yeah so here i am just adding plants around the door and all the good stuff i feel like what was i even talking about <laughs> no oh yeah i feel like this isn't modern because there's not like huge glass windows but then it's also not traditional because um traditional houses like i've never seen a traditional house that has a flat roof so i don't think it's traditional i don't know if it's contemporary i don't know i don't think it's mid-century like i just don't know so yeah here i am just adding in more plants um doing the do um yeah i don't even know i don't i really just don't know i can't even tell you um why do i not know what to talk about um let me see oh so oh okay i just jumped um yeah i just did a big jump so basically i think i was like trying to add pathways but then i didn't like it so okay honestly i have no clue why i jumped that much but i don't think i show you guys me adding all the pathways because it takes me so long to figure out like actually like what actually looks good so i don't end up showing you guys everything i don't know i don't think i cut out a mm, i don't know i can't even tell you i really can't tell you i feel like i should probably watch this and then record the commentary but like that's a lot of effort because this video is like 30 minutes and i'm like i don't want to sit here for 30 minutes to watch this just to like watch it again so we're just gonna watch it as i go and yeah, so I went ahead and added a pathway. And right here, I thought about adding like more plants in front of the planter boxes, but then I was like, oh, that's so many plants. Like, that's too much. So I ended up just putting like the small hedges. And I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about, like the small hedge fence that came with the base game. And then I just put some benches in. And I feel like it works really well. And yeah, so I'm just adding more plants around the fence. And I don't add the plants around the whole entire fence because that would have been a lot of effort. And if you guys can see, I only added plants in front of the brick part of the fence, not in front of like the, um, iron metal part whatever that is i don't know uh so yeah and then here i am i'm gonna try to play around with the, i don't know if i keep that i feel like i might keep that like that terrain paint i don't recall um but yeah and like i i don't know for some reason i kind of wanted it to be even just because for the most part the front part was even for the most part the front part okay yeah for the most part the front of the dorm was even so i think i was trying to continue with that but the benches i don't think i get completely even because like the pathways aren't even um if that makes sense so yeah and i end up cutting off some of like the front foundation like i keep the foundation but what i mean by that is like they can't access the stairs 
from like the front door of the dorm like because i end up putting where the columns are right now i put like fences and i also put a foundation and you not a foundation hmm, a fountain and you guys will see that happen just because i feel like it added a lot so yeah here i am i'm gonna try to like i said put in some plants but i was like oh that's just actually i don't know i feel like it kind of looked good like i feel like it could have worked but i just was like mm, that's a little too many plants for me so i'm gonna just yeah see just didn't like it just didn't work for me so um here are the hedges that i'm talking about adding and as you guys can see i like realize that it's uneven so i'm like fixing it i don't leave it like that like there we go i fixed it because i was like that's a little a little rough and yeah so here i am i think i'm just gonna start working on um the what is this the little sunken area um and like i said i just put in like tables nothing too spectacular um i just thought it'd be nice for them to like sit outside if they want to just eat a little bit you know do the do <laughs> i don't even know what that means and yeah i honestly don't remember what the dorms look like in the base like what come with university life like i don't remember what's outside if i don't even know if anything's outside so now they have a bunch of cool entertainment i feel like i'm going to use this dorm once and then like never again because i just get so bored with my builds like i'm surprised with my current household i've stayed in the house that i'm in for as long as i have but i think it's because it takes me so long to build in this stupid game like i not stupid i like this game sorry it takes me so long to build in this game like i don't know why it takes me so long and honestly i did go ahead and film a current household for you guys because i wanted to film it before it like um progressed too much as to where there's like so much to explain that like it would take me forever because i don't know i feel like long current households can be kind of boring and i feel like my old current households used to be so so long and um i don't know i just feel like my videos are really boring and i don't want them to be like extra long because then it's like the longer it is the more boring it most likely is going to be so um yeah i need to make a thumbnail for my current household but yeah so um it used to be like a really small quaint family and then my sim ended up having triplets and i was actually really annoyed about because she got the fertility treatment from um like you know when you give them a romantic massage like that little table that comes with sunlit tides or whatever yeah she ended up she she okay she got the fertility treatment from that and she had triplets and it's really tragic because she's about to be an elder and i don't like to play with elders and i'm it's just so much but i do explain that in the current household and i think the current household will go up before this um yeah i feel like because it's already edited edited i just need a thumbnail so um yeah right here i'm just gonna add in like a little closed off area and i'm gonna put in like the little beer pong table what is it called juice pong yeah something like that the juice pong table um and then i'm trying to make a pathway right here but it just looked weird so i think i just make it its own separate little area yeah i'm gonna like close it off with like the little thin <laughs> what the flying crap i'm gonna close it off with the little tiny fences and just add some plants um and then i think i add a um chess table i was gonna call it a logic table no a chess table and yeah do i add a tree and i don't think i do mm, i don't know if i add like a bigger tree than those like little tiny ones but yeah i keep having a yawn but i'm like I'm trying not to yawn so yeah then i think do i add the i don't know what i'm doing okay right now i'm working on the floor i i don't even know what i'm doing oh my god um so yeah, so here I'm trying to see if I should add a fence because I know I talked about this in the first part, how like some the extra foundation was like really bothering me. So I wanted to like try and um like break it up in a sense. But right now I'm working on the flooring and I'm just adding in this floor from late night and I actually really liked it. Like I just changed the red and made it white and I was like, hmm, this really suits it. It like broke up the foundation because there was just so much and I just felt like there was a lot going on. And yeah, so um here i am i'm about to delete some of the fun not the foundation the basement so i can add in some fountains and i really like the way they look and the cfe bruh it messed up this <laughs> watch i have to fix all this like i don't show me fixing this all because it takes so long and i'm like ew like really like i have to put in like another foundation yeah so i fixed it boom there we go um because i wasn't going to show you guys all that because i knew this was already going to take me forever and i was like hmm i don't want to show them all so yeah i'm just adding in fountains and i actually haven't player tested this to see if it all works if, if there's routing issues i feel like there might be routing issues but oops um yeah so here's the fence that i was talking about that i add and it ends up like i said so i cut off like they can't 
get through the like the side stairs from the front door which is fine like they really don't need to and i actually don't think i put anything on these like little fake balcony things um these little what is this is this like a terrace i don't even know anyways like i don't add anything to those um so if you download this you can and i do change the doors i'm gonna like see if i like them and i do like the new doors i just did not like the first doors i don't even know why i put those in there because these are like my all-time favorite doors from university life probably in the game like i love those doors like um i like any type of french door i don't know if that's considered a french door but i love it and then i also love the doors that came with um supernatural like this one door i'm obsessed and then also one that came from the store so yes yeah, so now i'm just working on the uh guys i keep yawning and i'm having to like hold them back because i don't want to like cut this out because okay making audio flow together is so hard like whenever i have to like stop recording and then record again trying to make it flow and like put it with the right parts it's so hard so sometimes that's why it's easier just to not talk about the build because then like it doesn't really matter like the parts don't have to like really match up um yeah so here i am adding in the benches and i just feel like they work i think it's nice because your sims can just come sit out there have a nice little makeout sesh or like if your boyfriend is dropping you off you know you can just sit there and talk about how awful the date was no i'm kidding but um yeah okay i don't know if this i feel like it's recording i don't know <laughs> no i don't know i don't know so yeah here i am adding in a bunch of the shit that i want to like put in this i don't know why i just said the s word i could have just said stuff yeah here i am adding a bunch of the stuff so i'm just putting in a soccer goal which did come with seasons um a little beer pong table um a fire pit and all that good stuff and i'm gonna like move the goal around and i'm like hmm. but i end up putting it back by that yeah there we go and then i'm just gonna add some dirt by the gold because i don't know if you've ever seen like a soccer goal before but like wherever the goalie stands like it's dirt like it's like dirt Tea, like the grasses like torn up from their cleats i actually used to play soccer if you didn't know yeah i was a g just kidding i really wasn't so yeah here i am just adding in a fire pit and then i'm gonna put like mix match chairs around the fire pit because i don't know i feel like they just kind of bring chairs from wherever even though this is like a dorm and maybe like the university would provide like nice chairs i just feel like they wouldn't like i feel like they throw in the fire pit and they're like okay boom here put your own chairs out there and so that's what they did and i don't show me customizing all the chairs because that would be a process and no one wants to see all that like i'm trying to get better at like what people do and don't want to see and i just feel like recoloring things isn't something that they want to see and honestly the interior most of it is me recoloring stuff which is really unfortunate and yeah so here i am adding in a fire pit and then i'm gonna like in a few minutes you guys will see me seconds i don't know if it's minutes or seconds in a bit you will yeah here i am i'm struggling trying to find out where to put the slip and slide and I'm like, hmm, should I put it next to the, like, oh, no, I move on. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, F you, slip and slide, let me go onto the, what is this, juice pong table. And yeah, and there is a little juice keg, um, and then I'm just putting in some little stools. I don't know, I love doing this by, like, little game tables, because I feel like people could be, like, waiting for their turn, and, like, they want a place to sit, so I love putting those like that, and yeah, I don't know why I'm talking like that okay please forgive me for this awful ass commentary if you want to feel free to mute me throw on some music and do what you gotta do because this is awful and right now i'm just adding in those little rock speakers from outdoor living i think that's what it's called is it outdoor living yeah okay and then i'm gonna struggle again with the little slip inside because no i don't what am i doing i don't even know i'm like should i okay yeah boom struggling with the slip and slide i'm like should i put it under the tree nah because then they could run into the fence and then i'm like hmm should i do i leave that there <gasps> please tell me i don't leave that there oh my god oh my god if i leave that there i'm gonna sound like a dumbass i don't think i leave that there okay i don't know what i'm doing i just don't know i really just don't know i know right now i'm like working on the tiles obviously but i'm like i don't know what i'm doing with the slip and slide please amanda go get the slip and slide go get it go get it go get it what am i doing oh i was like yeah maybe i should add in a basketball goal but there wasn't like a really good place for it and i didn't want to have like too big of things that were from the store oh my god i do leave the slip and slide over there i'm a dumbass okay so i do leave it over there um i put in a trampoline right here and i put in some dead grass under it because i used to have a trampoline and like the grass under it it just died like it did not last whatsoever it died it said i'm dying um and yeah um so yeah uh 
Okay, so here is the new part. This is the new part of me filming. As you guys can see, the lighting has changed. And I've also added in a family. And the only reason I did that is to get the lighting to change because I just realized throughout this whole build that it was like pretty dark. So, um, is this the new? Yeah, this is the new one because you, as you guys can see, I have some lights in. And I didn't have lights in before, um, but I have lights in now. So, yeah, I went ahead and did the outdoor lighting off camera because that would take me, I know for a fact, that would take me forever. And I honestly, I just did this yesterday, I want to say. Was this yesterday that I did this? Uh, Sunday, maybe? Today, what's today? Today's Tuesday. So, yeah, maybe I did this Sunday. Um, and I honestly don't remember whatsoever what I did. Did I even play Sims yesterday? I know I worked yesterday, but... I don't remember. I don't even know. I don't remember what I did. Yes, I don't think I keep the grill out there. I think I do end up putting a grill, but I don't think it's anywhere in this vicinity. Like, I think it's, like, by the front of the dorm, which makes sense. Like, you guys will see. Right now, it probably doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it does. Like, when you guys see what I do, it makes sense. So, yeah. Um, The first time I furnished this, it was just so bad. Like, I don't even know what I was doing. And I did speed this part up a lot more than the rest of the video, which I don't know if you guys can tell. But I did speed it up more because this was, like, all one clip. Like, I did all of the outdoor furnishing basically in one go um or all the new furnishing in one go like i didn't stop or anything i was like yeah let's get this done so uh yeah um what am i doing oh yeah i actually like that a lot better i like make the brick lighter which i really do like and then i'm just gonna add in some tables around the place um i don't think i add the only outdoor thing that i add is like a chess table i think i put one out here too and um yeah, I didn't want to, like, add anything too expensive because I was like, if it rains, like, it's going to get messed up, which I don't know. I don't think stuff can actually get messed up by rain in this game, but, yeah, the table's so dope. I think it came from, like, 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff, and, yeah, so I keep, like, those chairs were in the original furnishing, so I just saved them because I really like them, and so was this umbrella. Um, I saved that as well because I really like the color. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so tired, guys. Like, I'm exhausted. You don't even know. Um yeah so like i said this is honestly all outdoor seating that little covered area is where we're gonna get lit and add some cool stuff um like i said my earbud keeps falling out so i can't hear myself talk which we all know is an amazing thing to hear not really do i leave that table right there please tell me i don't i think i do why did i leave that there oh my god doing this can sometimes be so infuriating because I'm looking for the chess table that I want to use, but I couldn't find it. Like, I don't know why. Like, I know where it's at now, but I can... There it is. Boom. I found it. Anyways, um, looking back, whenever I watch these back, I'm like, why did I... Okay, I literally leave that table there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm talking about the one that's like... Okay, you guys can't see it now, but... Mm, 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 SMH. Don't know why I did that. Um, so, yeah. Here I am. This part looks so much better. The first time that I did this, I had, like, a hot tub, and I had, like, tiles, and it just... Mm, I was not feeling it so here i am adding in a little wave from uh island living what is it what's the new one island living is that sims 4 island living. i think island living is the sims 4 what's the sims 3 I was going to call it Isla Paradiso, but that's the world that came with it. I think it's like Island Paradise. Is it Island? I don't even know. It's Island something. I, I'm i pretty sure The Sims 4 is like Island Paradise and The Sims 3 is like Island Paradise. <laughs> I think it's Island Paradise. Yeah. So here I am. I'm like fiddling with these couches. I'm like, should I add two? Like, what should I do? Do, 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 do. But I end up deleting one and I make like a nice little, um, I don't know when I, I'm like trying to add in this photo booth, but like it didn't fit in the way that I wanted it to, but we do get one in there in the build, not in this part. Um, and yeah, I don't think I keep that nasty DJ booth. I feel like I add a nicer one. Do I, keep, what if I keep the nasty one? I obviously don't know what I'm doing because I thought I like moved the slip and slide. I also thought I moved the couch, not the couch what are, the table okay here we go so i'm adding in a platform right now and this is gonna raise the little dj booth so they can like be above the other sims because other sims are peasants and they are performers so they need to be higher up not really but yeah i feel like i'm have to re-record this whole commentary like this is ass like it's so bad where are these lights from the store so then i'm adding in these lights which even though some came with like university life so i should have just used them but the ones with university life they're like 
facing different directions like one's in the front one's like to the side one's like to the back i'm like what the hell like why don't they all just face the same direction and yeah i love those little poofs they came with a store from the set a set from the store um and yeah so if anything get those those are the best things ever i love them and they can actually sit on them if you're wondering they really can so yeah um uh, yeah i i think i feel like i changed the colors of the poofs because i was like why do they all look the same like that's boring um then i'm trying to add in a plant i don't know if i end up yeah i do end up putting one in then i'm gonna add some rugs um in a few seconds and then i added like yeah i add a guitar and then i think i'll also add like a little bass because like you know they could have a whole band come like i feel like universities actually do that like they really do sometimes like host bands um for their students so i was like maybe they could do that here who knows can they actually know but that's none of our business um do i leave those i hope i leave those because i like don't know what i'm talking about and i don't think i add a bass i think i do add a bass i don't know here, I'm about to add a little jukebox, which is so cute. That came with Showtime. Um, and then I'm changing, like, the, one of the little poofs. Um, I think I do, like, really bright colors at first. And I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Wait, do I? No, I don't. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ew, that's ugly. Like, the green, the purple, and the orange. I'm not feeling it. So I change it. Please tell me I change it. Oh, my God. I don't even know. I just feel like I should stop talking about the build because, yes, finally, I'm right. I changed it. Oh, my God. I changed them to white what the hell what's wrong with me so i guess i changed them to white i don't know don't know why i did that <gasps> i changed them to white and i don't add a base guys guys what is wrong with me i know where i add a base but it's not in this video it's in the third part wherever i do the interior i do add a base um so yeah I will not do the interior today. I will not record the commentary because as you guys can see, I don't know what I'm talking about and I don't want to sound like a dumbass in both the interior and the exterior, even though I just finished the interior today, so I should know a little bit more about what I'm doing um, and I won't sound dumb. Um, so yeah. So here I am. I'm just working on the... Um, on the sorry i was like watching something i'm just working on the like uh what is this called the like little skills area so this is like for the major so we have like that little communication thing which i feel like is for the communications major which is what my sim's gonna major in when he goes and then we have like the little um skeleton for like the science and medicine major i want to say and then here i was gonna try to add like a little bar area but it made no sense because only one was gonna like actually get to look out the other two were gonna like look at the wall and i added these cool tables that i just got from the store i was like i need to use these these are so cool i don't know what they came with um i don't know what the set's called but i thought they were so i do I keep those? I feel like I keep those. Please tell me I keep those. Um, and yeah, I'm just adding different color chairs, which I do show. I don't know. For some reason, I show me like changing the color of like exterior stuff. But I think because it's like like such small things, like a small amount of things. And the interior, it's so much stuff. Like I don't show me. I don't think I show me painting the walls when I do the interior because it's just so much stuff. But yeah, this video is actually coming to an end, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video without hearing my voice. I hope you all enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.